First at noon, shots fired at a Volusia County home deputy shoot at an armed suspect. Sheriff Chitwood calling the incident an ambush in waiting. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Justin Warmoth will be in later tonight. The suspect is expected to survive, but the circumstances surrounding the shooting last night are still unknown. We do know deputies were called to Tanglewood Road in DeBerry, west of US 17 and south of High Banks Road. Let's get out to News 6's Molly Reed, who is live in Volusia County, where Sheriff Chitwood is expected to give an update in less than an hour. Molly. Well, Kirsten, we're at the Deputy Training Center here in Daytona Beach, where we will hear from Chitwood within the next hour. But he did take the social media already last night, calling the shooting an ambush in waiting. Now, we'll go ahead and show you some of the scene video of what deputies showed up to last night. The deputies say the call came in around 815 for a suicidal person at the house on Tanglewood Drive. They say the shooting then happened roughly 30 minutes later at 845. The subject, a 54 year old man, was shot and injured, but is expected expected to survive. The sheriff says he was near a shed on the property when it happened. Now we can show you some of those photos. The sheriff tweeting these out of what they found inside the shed. You can see ammo in magazines, guns laid out on a table, guns propped up against the wall. Now you also have to keep in mind this is the office's second deputy involved shooting within the last two weeks. Just last Tuesday, the deputies were in a shootout with a 12 and 14 year old. The sheriff already crediting uh, his deputies in both incident incidents with their expertise and training for no one getting killed. Now again, we're expecting to hear from him within the next hour about this latest shooting. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results News 6. Molly, thank you. And News 6 will be streaming Sheriff Chitwood's press conference. You can watch it live right on ClickOrlando.com.